Hello everyone, how are you today? Today I'm going to show you three, one, two, three, really super easy experiments that you can try at home. Because we're learning about the jungle this week, I'm going to show you how important water is in the jungle. Have a think. What is the weather like in the jungle? Is it a hot place? Is it a cold place? Is it very dry or is it very wet? Yes, the jungle is a hot and wet place. For the jungle to be a hot and wet place, you need the sun and you need rain. Plus, it needs to be a very hot temperature. The first science experiment we're going to try is just with a little cup of water. Can you see the purple line here? Well, I'm going to put this water outside in the sun. Because the sun is hot, it's going to heat up the water. So let's see what happens to the water. We have to wait throughout the day to see if there's any changes. Now everyone, after we've waited for a few hours because the glass of water has been outside in the sun, the water is a little bit below the line, the purple line, because the sun has helped the water to evaporate and go up into the clouds. If I left this glass out here all day, when it gets hotter, there'll be even less water. That's what happens when the sun heats up the water. It evaporates. Our next experiment, the second experiment, is going to look at what happens when hot water and cold water are put together. What is the name for very cold water? What happens when water is in a very cold place, like your freezer or outside in winter? It turns to ice. Your water turns to ice when it's very cold. And for our hot water, you need to get an adult to boil some water and get it very hot. I'm going to put the hot water inside here. The reason we're doing this is because in the jungle it's very hot and on the ground, the water and the ground is hot. But did you know that up in the clouds, it's actually very cold? So ask an adult to put the, a little bit of hot water into the jar. Okay. Close it up. Can you see what's happening in, inside the jar already? Condensation. Now I'm going to put ice on top of the jar. So, at the top, it's going to be very cold, like in the clouds. And at the bottom, it's going to be very hot, like in the jungle. What's happening inside our jar with the hot water and the ice? When the two are meeting, something is being made in the middle. It's more water. As the heat rises up from the hot water, it meets the cold and it makes more water. Where do you think all of this water goes? Look, can you see it dripping down? What does that look like? Does it remind you of a type of weather? Let's take a look at how clouds are made. When all of this water gathers at the very top, it needs to go somewhere. 
so that makes clouds. What happens when there's too much water in the clouds? We're going to look at that in our third experiment. For our third experiment, you need a jar of water, a glass of water with blue food colouring, a straw to pick up your food colouring, and some foam, shaving foam. This blue water here is going to be our rain water. And the foam is going to be our, can you guess, clouds. So let's put them in and let's see what happens. Okay, step one, shake your foam. Shake, 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 shake. And now put it in your jar to make your clouds. Oy. Okay, done. Now let's see what happens if I start to put this blue rainwater in here. What will happen? Let's take a look. The more of my rainwater I put into the cloud, the heavier and heavier it's going to be. So what happens to the rainwater? It comes down from the sky to give us rain because the clouds can't hold any more water. Can you see what's happening now to our rain? Is it staying in the cloud? No, it's falling down. Now it's raining because there's too much water in the clouds. And this is what happens every time it rains with us. Oh look, it's a very rainy day. So I hope you enjoyed those three experiments about water and how water affects the jungle. It's how it gives the jungle that wet and hot climate. You can try your own science experiments at home using the same three that I did or you could have some fun and see what happens when you put different colours into your rain. Bye!